Hi, I am Yo-Yo Bandalore, and I am going to show you this evening how to make a 216 ball ring. Right here, I have one already made. Again, that's made with 216 balls. I'm using uh, Zen magnets uh, to make this. Um, you look closely here, there's a, an inner and an outer layer to the ring. So in order to get started, we're going to need a 36 ball stack of rings, three stack. You'll need one that has an alternating bond and you'll need one that has the parallel bond. Now, if you look closely here, uh, it's going to be the parallel bond that's going to be the outer layer. So right now, we're going to take the parallel and just set it aside over here. And we're going to take the uh, alternating stack of three 36 rings. And this is where it gets a little tricky. We are going to take these and take two side-by-side -side diagonals and slide. See how I slid those? And you're going to do that for every other diagonal. So you start to get this sort of zigzag pattern. And it takes a little work. Uh, you know, you may have one that slides back into place and you just have to slide it again. But it's generally, you hold them firmly, one at the top, one at the bottom, and just, it's a nice just sliding action. And you start to see how the, the pattern goes. And you do that for the entire ring. So instead of watching me do this entire ring to get the zigzag, I've already made one. So here it is. If I rotate it around, you can see zigzag all the way. This is going to be the inner ring. Now we take the parallel bonded stack and we're going to put it on its side. And what we do is we just slide it up to the inner ring. Now the polarity makes a difference here. You want a strong alternating bond between these. If when you stick them together, you see that they're parallel, the magnets are lined up, then that's incorrect. So all you have to do is disconnect them, flip that ring over, and then when you get in close, you'll see you get a nice alternating bond there. Now what I do is I just kind of use my forefinger and thumb and I start sliding this around. Notice I haven't disconnected this into a strand yet. It's still a ring. I found that makes it a little bit easier. So after you get started around a little bit, then you can come back and slice this outer layer separate it into a, a strand and then take one side and just start moving around. It's almost like a piece, piece of scotch tape. You know, use your forefinger and thumb to kind of gentle. You don't want to pull. I think I may have messed that up. There we go. Can I correct it? Yeah, I think so. And then you go the other side. Let me see if I can get this back in the frame. And then you keep bringing it around. Again, just like a piece of scotch tape. Okay. Now when you get the final all the way around, you notice there's a little bit of a gap there. So all you have to do is put your fingers on both sides up close, kind of push and push in a little bit so those make a connection. So then you got a nice solid connection. You can go back and, you know, make it into more of a, a perfect circle. But then you've got your, your ring. Now, I've made a few others here already, so you can see. Once you make these, you can stack them, you know, depending on the polarity. Uh, like that's alternating, I think. Let me flip it over here. Oop, that was alternating there. The other way. 
There we go. So you can get the same polarity with the inner balls that are sticking out here, connect up, and you've got a little bit of a gap. But you can stack these and make a nice tube. Or if you use the alternating bond, you can stack them like this so it's seamless. So it makes a really cool tube, you get some good reflections. So depending on how you connect them, you'll either get a gap or a nice seamless, however you want to do it. But that is how you make the 216 ball ring. Sorry about the focus, it's been a while since I've made uh, videos, so I'm a little out of practice. So I hope that helps. Again, you'll notice that I use Zen magnets in this uh, video for the tutorial, which I love them. Uh, they do a great job, and then they're great for the, uh, the magnet community. I hope this is helpful, and I hope uh, you get your ring made. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.